MMTs, this is a 60 minute chart of the VIX called the, uh, it's the S&P 500 basically volatility index and it's a fear index. The thing about trade management, it's a 60 minute. So when we were making a big reversal up here, we started. We went up here and we, we, we started to reverse over here. We were putting the major bottom in here. Here's the S&P 500 60 minute now. So you got a big reversal in fear. And when the fear goes down, that's when you're putting the bottom in here. And as I said clearly on Friday's expiration, which was 923 of 2011, that this would be the very key ingredient to know what would qualify. So you got the big reversal 60 minute bar and you got the big reversal to the upside in the S&P 60 minute bar. Okay? And this is where the bottom was put in here and that top once again got put in here. Now you can take a look that we did make a higher high at 43.20. Yes, we did gap up the other day. We shot up, we came down, and we couldn't go any higher, and this was what it was like on Friday. When you look at the S&P over here, you can see how that bottom on the S&P closed back above that 11.26. We did not break down below the 1101 area, and we've come back again on a bottom effect of the S&P on a 60-minute level that reversed up here when we called the short up here. This double top failure right here, okay? That's the S&P 60-minute. Now, the fear indicator, when we were putting this bottom in here, when we were putting the bottom in here, we were putting a top over here. You can see how the top came down. You can see how this bottom kind of came up. You can see how you consolidated here, and you can see where your resistance levels were here. But even though that you came up, you had an immediate bar down. And they're kind of similar in here. And it's a way to gauge this market, meaning that the fear indicator always puts in a top reversal when markets are putting in bottoms and or vice versa. When we're back over here in this trend right here, let's get it centered right, you can clearly see MMTs that when this was put in a, uh, when this was reversing all the way down to the bottom, I was breaking out all the way to that high. See? See? So when we're buying calls and puts and putting on various risk management trades, MMTs, it's very, very, very important that you understand the directional market movement because when there is no fear when people have less fear and the fear is going down you're going to be going higher here in the S&P and you're going to know that by understanding how bottom breakouts happen in fear that's a big breakout here and during that breakout here you can see the breakout in the fear to that high but once again, it's selling this short and buying puts on the S&P and the fear. Look what happened over here. So you can buy against the positions and be on both sides of the market market equally. Okay, I need to break down to break higher. I break higher. I'm going higher on the S&P here on the fear. I'm going down in the S&P here and the fear the fear, once again, I'm sorry, this is it right here, 60 minutes, so let's not be confused. S&P up here, this is the VXN, so here we go, let's put it in there, VXN, and we can see that I'm breaking out to all-time highs, I'm breaking down on the S&P, and buying the put options below here is the right thing to do, and we came all the way back down to that 1200 neckline, and when we were breaking through resistances over here, when we were breaking this double top right through this bar right here on the fear, that's when we got these big breakouts. And the sellers were really fearful. And they were really selling off. And at the very same time, we had the big sell down in the stock market. And the S&P puts in another low of calendar 2011 low right here. Did not break it. And price action and directional movement is king. And at the same time, I put my bottom here and I held that yearly low. We don't know what's going to happen on the open Monday, but we know that we were putting that top in up here. And we're going to be doing a lot more work around the two using a weekly chart 
on that fear because rallies are going to happen in either way. Either sell-offs happen because we put a big, we break the last highs of 40, 45 on this thing and we go up and we put a blow up top in, we put a blow up bottom below 1100 in the index. The same transition will happen again. And right now, on this fear, if I come down, then I'm going to break back up into my S&P. The key closing price on the S&P, though, is this half bar right here, and that's 1146. That you're going to have to close above 1142.50, but then maintain a consolidation above 1146.17 on the S&P 500 at the SMF Market Maker Half Pro Action Bar. So that's going to be the key on the way up. And on the other hand, for the fear, we're going to have to do the opposite. So the S&P has got to break above that half bar. The fear right here has to break below this half bar on the way down. And this is going to be the lower one, and that's going to be 37.24 on the VXN 60 minute. In the shorter term on Monday when we open up, we're going to be looking the fact that we break below this half bar at 39.60 and continue to go down and break below these half bars and as we're working our way back below the half bars here we're going to be gaining traction above the half bars over here and then vice versa 1180 is a half bar here on the s p once again where that and so we're going to have support levels here and resistance levels on the way up and it's going to be buying index options on the s p 500 at various strike prices and learning the trade management with using the fear indicator.